we will study about the blood supply of the thoracic region uh, the uh, branches of the aorta so this no, this is the heart on the left side we will uh, first go so this is the uh, uh, abdominal aorta and the first branch of the thoracic in the thoracic region will be brachiocephalic trunk and this is the basic brachiocephalic trunk okay the brachiocephalic trunk uh, on the right side on the left side first will give subclavian artery so the subclavian artery has three branches namely okay this is the subclavian artery the subclavian artery has three parts three divisions that is first one is the costo cervical trunk the second is the internal thoracic and the third is the superficial cervical now the costo cervical trunk uh, will give again two parts that is first one is the a uh, supreme intercostal artery so this is the supreme intercostal <clears throat> and then it will continue as dorsal scapular artery so this is the dorsal scapular the dorsal scapular will then uh, give rise to deep cervical artery and it will continue as vertebral artery okay after giving the subclavian artery uh, the brachiocephalic trunk will then divide into two parts that is common carotid artery this is the right common carotid this is the left common carotid artery now this is of the right side so the same this is the brachiocephalic trunk the brachiocephalic trunk first it will give rise to the as i told on the left side is the first division so first subclavian artery and after a distance it will give the second subclavian artery on the right side okay this subclavian artery again has as i told <coughs> three parts that is the deep uh, internal thoracic costo cervical trunk and superficial cervical artery so the costo cervical trunk has uh, first it will give rise to this is the supreme intercostal artery costo cervical trunk first branch supreme intercostal and then it will give rise to the dorsal scapular artery so this is the dorsal scapular dorsal scapular will then give rise to deep cervical artery and it will continue uh, forward as vertebral artery now the brachiocephalic trunk after giving rise to the left uh, subclavian subclavian artery and the right subclavian artery will then continue as common carotid artery this is the right common carotid this is the left common carotid artery